The backlash against the disqualification of HSF President Tim Berlante continues to grow. And new documents have been released in the Rob Ford investigation. Humber News starts now. Hello, it's Wednesday, March 19th. Welcome to Humber News, coming to you from the Broadcast Center here at the North Campus. I'm John Mace. Thanks for joining us. And I'm Kelly Kazakia. Ahead on our show, we have all your news, sports, and entertainment highlights, as well as your five-day weather forecast. But first, John has our top story. The results of the 2014 HSF elections are still causing controversy. It all started last Thursday night when current HSF President Tim Berlante was disqualified from the 2014 presidential elections. The reason for his disqualifications were based on his apparently having at least three strikes or legal election procedures against him. According to Berlante, he was told these strikes include a friend of Berlante endorsing him on Twitter who was allegedly associated with an HSF club. HSF clubs are not allowed to endorse candidates. Another HSF club allegedly endorsing him on Twitter, campaigning in a restricted area, and not deleting a campaign-related cover photo on his personal Facebook account. The results of the presidential election were released last Friday evening. The results show Berlante with just under 2,500 votes before he was removed from the ballot. Sean Manahan, who had just over 1,000 votes, was declared the winner. Humber News reporter Corey Weir has been covering the story all week. He joins us in the studio with the latest. Corey? Thanks, John. And uh, today's students are still fighting to make the voice of current HSF President Tim Rilhante heard. An online petition was launched to give Rilhante the right to appeal his removal from the elections. The petition currently has 340 signatures and counting. He was, it was started by a Guelph Humber student, Stephen McKinnis, who is on the board of directors of HSF. The board of directors will be meeting tonight, and one of the items on the agenda is the election. Berlante disputes the reasons given for his disqualification, but under the HSF rules, he's not allowed to appeal. Uh, Chief Returning Officer, or CRO, Natalia Toussaint, has addressed the criticisms from Berlante and his supporters. She was the one who made the decision to disqualify him. Toussaint stands by her decision under the current rules, but thinks some policies may need to be changed. I, I talked with McInnes earlier today about how he plans to further his actions to help Berlante gain an appeal. So I will be voicing my concerns. Um, fellow board members have also um, mentioned their concerns. I was hoping to have uh, an agenda item of a motion to, uh, uh, for Tim to have an appeal. However, it was turned down. Uh, by the chairperson. Um, her comment was that um, she had many reasons for turning it down, but her main reason in my mind was that we're not allowed to um, overpower the CRO. And um, in my regard, or in my opinion, we're not um, overpowering the CRO. We're simply stating that Tim should have the opportunity to appeal, not that he should win an appeal. McKinnis says the petition needs 3,000 signatures to be considered. The meeting is at Guelph Humber in room GH101 at 6 o'clock tonight and is open to the public. Thanks, Corey. Humber News will continue to follow this story. Police documents describing the video of Toronto Mayor Rob Ford smoking crack cocaine have been released. This morning, an Ontario court authorized the release of the material relating the investigation of Ford and his friend Alexander Lisi. The documents describe Ford smoking from a glass pipe, inhaling and exhaling the vapor. According to the search warrants, the video is approximately one minute. The police investigation, dubbed Project Brazen 2, began last May after news broke about a video of the mayor smoking crack cocaine. Earlier this month, Toronto Police Chief Bill Blair said oversight of the investigation has been handed over to the OPP. Mayoral candidate John Tory is officially launching his campaign tonight. In 2003, Tory came in second to David Miller, who was Toronto's mayor until 2010. Tory has previously been the CEO of Rogers Media and also the CEO and chairman of the Canadian Football League. He will be speaking on how he plans on making Toronto a more livable, affordable and functional if elected as mayor. Tory's campaign kickoff will be at the Polish Combatants Hall tonight at 6.30. Back on campus, there's no need to go to Woodbine today if you feel like a little gambling. It's Casino Day at the North Campus. Students receive fake money to play the games in the Student Centre. The dealers organizing the games ha even had some casino tire on to make the event more realistic. Games included poker, blackjack and roulette. Incentives like raffles and lease tickets were given out as prizes for the students. HSF's next event at the North Campus will be its first ever comic expo happening tomorrow. When we come back, we'll have more news from across the country and around the world. Mark McKelvey will have your sports news, and we'll have your weather forecast with Darren O'Malley. 
Today is going to feel a little bit more spring-like with our above freezing temperatures, and we're celebrating a certain milestone today. I'll have all the details for you coming up in your weather forecast.